been a little over a month and Lexington police detectives say they are no closer to knowing what happened in a north side strip mall that ended with a man dead, another wounded. But they do know that folks have turned to Crime Stoppers to help in eight recent murder investigations. And police are hoping people will do it for this case as well. When Lexington police pulled up to this scene on the 12th of last month, there was nothing they could do for Armand Lukes. The 40-year-old shooting victim was already dead. As a lot of these calls commenced, a shots fired call and multiple officers were responding and um, what they responded on was kind of chaos. And when the scene finally settled, shell casings were really all detectives had to go on. Lots of shell casings. Uh, witnesses were either weren't cooperative or don't want to be involved or we are actually really limited on what witnesses we have. There was people out there at the scene um, that fled. We understand they may have fled in fear. We completely get that. Um, but people were, were there, were saw the vehicles that were there and, and those uh, at least different pieces of this puzzle. A 51-year-old man also suffered gunshot wounds in the melee, but he is recovering. Detectives trying to put this case to rest say they haven't gotten much from him either, which is why they've put this in the hands of Crime Stoppers, hoping to ride the wave of success the program has had on encouraging witnesses to come forward under the cover of anonymity. We solve multiple ones because some people are watching this and they know we're airing this and they reach out to us anonymously and we're solving these cases. So we know the word will get out on this one. We know the word will get out the crime stoppers is running this one. We ask you, we beg you, continue to reach out to us. And if you have information on this case, call the anonymous Crime Stoppers tip line at 253-2020 or you can always go online to p3tips.com.